Tell me why you're doing this. Seriously. Why do you do it? Money? Mainly? There you go. Nah, come on. Man, some straight like you, giant stick up his ass, all of a sudden at age, what, 60, he's just gonna break bad? I'm 50. It's weird, is all, okay? It, it doesn't compute. Listen, if you've gone crazy or something, I mean, if you've, if, you, if you've gone crazy or depressed, I'm, I'm just saying, that, that's something I need to know about, okay? I mean, that, that affects me. I am awake. <laughs> what? This is not meth. Give you your money. Oh. That crystal that your partner brought me, it sold faster than $10 ass in TJ. Let's say you bring me another pound next week. Money up front. Sometimes you gotta rob to keep your riches. It's as long as we got an understanding. One pound is not gonna cut it. You have to take two. <laughs> Orale. Hey, what is this? Fulminated mercury. A little tweak of chemistry. You've always struck me as a very pragmatic man, so if I may, I would like to review options with you, of which it seems to me you have two. Option A, you kill me right here and now. Apparently, I have made that very easy for you. You can kill me, no witnesses, and then spend the next few weeks or months tracking down Jesse Pinkman, and you kill him too. A pointless exercise, it seems to me, but that is option A. What is option B? I continue cooking. 
You and I both forget about Pinkman. We forget this ever happened. We consider this a lone hiccup in an otherwise long and fruitful business arrangement. I prefer option B. I want those names, Mike. You owe me that much. I don't owe you a damn thing. All of this, falling apart like this, is on you. Wow. <laughs> wow! Oh, that's some kind of logic right there, Mike. You screw up, get yourself followed by the DEA, and now, suddenly, this is all my fault. Why don't you walk me through this, Mike? We had a good thing, you stupid son of a bitch. We had Fring. We had a lab. We had everything we needed. It all ran like clockwork. Oh, you could have God. shut your mouth, cooked, and made as much money as you ever needed. It was perfect. But no, you just had to blow it up. You and your pride and your ego. You just had to be the man. If you'd done your job, known your place, we'd all be fine right now. You had my cell number. You killed 10 witnesses to save your sorry ass. You bombed a nursing home. Yeah. Heisenberg. Heisenberg. You lie. Two-faced sack of shit. Hank. I don't know where this is coming from, Hank, but just... I swear to Christ. I will put you under the jail. Just take a breath, okay? Just listen to yourself. These wild accusations, they could destroy our family. Damn And for what? Get about family. Hank, my cancer is back. Good. Rot, you son of a bitch. I'm sorry you feel that way. I want to beat this thing. I do. I'm back on chemo and I am fighting like hell. But the truth is, in six months, you won't have someone to prosecute. But even, even if somehow you were able to convince anyone that I was capable of doing these things, you and I both know I would never see the inside of a jail cell. You're the smartest guy I ever met. And you're too stupid to see. He made up his mind 10 minutes ago. Do what you're gonna do. <laughs> that I did. You need to understand. I have to hear one more time that you did this for the family. I did it for me. I liked it. I was good at it.
about this. Say the words. Say you want this. Nothing happens until I hear you say it. Do it yourself. 